Hey everyone, this is Desko Makaste Gamer, and this is Astray. Astray is an indie horror game that released, I guess, in early 2015, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's a game where you go into a museum. That's about the extent of what I'm gonna say, and about the extent of what I know also. Let's kick straight into Astray. Showing me all of those controls, whether I was playing on a keyboard and mouse or a controller. Keyboard and mouse for me, though. Several weeks have passed since anyone has heard from my uncle. He spends far too long holed up in this that strange museum of his. Tonight, I'll visit the museum to check on him. The family is getting worried. And I, everyone has that one uncle who wraps themselves up into a museum and you have to go check on them. Adjust the gamma slider until the right square is no longer visible. The left square should still be visible. I can hardly see anything, actually, so I guess I need to turn it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. That, that That's good, I guess. That is a good bar for it. Let's say okay. Well, I don't know why we are running through the woods to get to our museum. It's not like something was chasing us, I guess. Um, we didn't say that in our prologue. Of course, being me, I'm going to take a time to look around different places before I go. Apparently, Uncle's closed shop for the museum. He's just decided, fuck it, I'm going to block the way there with trees. Of course, you can get by trees if you really want to. They're not like that hard to climb through. Oh. I don't think we're supposed to poke that. You know, you could probably jump that, but you know, why do we want to jump it? Then we'd be trapped inside. You could also crawl through it, maybe. I'm not sure that's the best thing to try either. Accidentally tap it and you might be a little bit dead. I'll try that later. There's actually a few things I want to investigate before that. Uncle has some strange hobbies. Also, his museum is surprisingly big, especially since this appears to be literally in the middle of nowhere. It's fine, though. See, this is fine. I, mean, I guess that this is locked. I have to go through the electric gated way. Yep. Yep. I think we all saw that coming. At least I saw it coming. I'm sure you guys saw it coming too, though. No, I was gonna take another solid look. Maybe there's another way to just hop the fence. But alas, we don't think there is. I mean, I guess there is actually something over here. What is this? Aha! Hidden little alcove of I, I don't even know what. It's not electrified though, so maybe it's a better choice than my initial decision. Alright, yeah, there's some sort of stairway, you know. For my uncle being so secure with the place, this is sure a pretty big oversight. Okay, before I do this, I'm actually going to do the dumb thing and try and see if I can uh, crouch my way through his goddamn electric fence of doom, so give me a second. Don't worry, his granddaddy, you're about to kill your nephew. I'm not sure if I'm a he or a she, but I'm here. I'm about to zap myself on your fence, just to see if I can crawl under this. Probably not, but I'm gonna try. Yeah! Turns out that wasn't what you were supposed to do. But that's okay, now we know, and also it confirmed that we're a he, because he made a very guy, ugh, when he got damaged. So there you go. Also, you can easily hop over the fence on the other side, apparently. Alright, I will trust this magical glowing pit, because it, in fact, does lead underground whole basement settlement here. Well, I can't even see the sky anymore. Now you can see the sky. Now you can't. It's okay. I know it's because it's a filter, but... Oh, they got physics! No, actually... Not here... Give me a second. <laughs> I'm not sure this is what you're supposed to be doing, but it's definitely something you can do. <sighs> okay, there's an invisible wall. That's bullshit, but that's okay. Whatever. I mean, I knew that. Would be, I thought there was gonna be an invisible wall or something. It's just we can dream of a world that we could have actually hop that fence right there. Alright, I'll take your dark, moody downstairs area to get through here. 
Anything else inside these boxes? The answer is probably no. But that water is covered with electricity. Are we gonna have to turn off the goddamn power, which also turns off all the power in the main facility? It's gonna be a bad idea in the end. Just because our grandpa's so obsessed with electricity as a security measure. Also, can we throw things? Yes, we can. Alright, well, I'm gonna put this here. Alright, see? One step at a time. Push one box in front of the other. And soon you two will make it out of here. I say put one box in front of the other. Then pull the lever and no electricity. We also have a battery meter, so I have to worry about that. Well, it's okay. Everything's dark and moody now, except up here, where we should be fine. See, we're fine. Or that just turned off the electricity over here. All right, that's fine. No boxes for me. I'm just going to assume it also turned off the electric fence over here. Thankfully, the power still seems to be on. I actually thought that was going to be an excuse why the whole entire place was abandonedly dark. But maybe, maybe, you know, well, it's probably going to be very, very dark. But at least it doesn't seem to be entirely so dark. Yeah, I don't know how to crouch. Okay. Here we are in this, I guess, boarded up shed. My uncle really, I keep on calling him Grandpa, but really it's its uncle. Ah. There we go. Is there anything we need to do here? Any sort of collection, some sort of key opening sequence? Is the door always open? I guess it was. Uh, uh, up there, maybe? Oh, wait. Oh, let's see. Bolt cutters. And guess what those are for? If you guessed cutting the chain that's blocking the museum entrance, you'd probably be on the right track. So we're going to try right now at the very least. It's probably going to work too. Here we go. Cut. And even burst open the gate. Apparently those gates were just waiting to burst open. Obviously the entrance will be somewhere around here. I'll move boxes around. Oh, wow. That was an unintended side effect. Is that light flickering? Who cares? Ah. Well, we're not getting into there. Is there like an open window? The front door is probably just like open, but... If I didn't explore, I wouldn't be living up to my namesake, now would I? Let me guess, door is just open. No, actually, no, the doors are closed, which means we're looking for an alternative method in. That seems mighty suspicious. But hey, whatever. Got more boxes, there's enough boxes here to get around. Actually, you could, you could probably hop over this easily, or you could crawl under it. Oh, silly me. Of course they'll have to place open for us to crawl through. Uncle doesn't keep a key for the front door. Do you see how it's boarded up? He just crawls on through these vents. Yeah, he goes through the same process I'm going through right now every day just to make sure that he's in a better way. And also, since I don't have inventory, I should probably worry about picking up batteries since that probably is just a one-time pickup that will automatically recharge whatever amount of battery life I have. So I should be a bit wary about picking them up when I need to probably preserve some for later. However, I'm going to assume that we're not coming back here, since here's a door. A loading door, even. Apparently the controls are just the loading menu. And I turn on my flashlight on Mac. I didn't do anything. Just turn it on himself. Well, let's investigate the moodiness. There's a valve. And a door. Hello, door. I'll continue exploring. There's a note here. With very tiny text. 17th November, 1908. I've got the item you were looking for. I'm going to have to ask for twice my usual fee for this one. It wasn't easy to obtain, but I know how much you wanted it. I'll be by the door docks at the usual time. You know the spot. From Bella. The door looks electronically controlled. It won't open without power. Well, it's a good thing I turned off the power. I'm sure there's another power surge, whatever, something or another through here. Now let's try every single door and see what we can see. Actually, I have no idea if this game has monster chases. I bet it does have monster chases. This seems like a monster chase setup. Well, whatever the case, we'll find out in due time, I suppose. Open. That's not going to open. It's just plain up closed. All right. Well, in fact, a number of these doors are. You're open, though. Well, here's the power generator magic thing. There you go. And we had light. Also, we had some boxes. Oh, my God. 
I can live with a natural grim glow, especially since my flashlight batteries are starting to go a little bit low. Hello, electronically locked door, which is just automatically open. Apparently this door just locks when electricity is turned off. Even though the power whatever is on the other side of the door, but whatever. Didn't make this area any brighter, that's for certain. Well, hello museum. Yeah, we are in Hello Museum world. Alright. I like museum stands, I should mention. Welcome to the Walter's Museum of the Supernatural. You are now entering Coast. Oh. I was looking forward to a voice tour. Well, we can't open up any of these. We can't, in fact, pick up chairs and throw them at the Pharaoh. That was surprisingly quiet for how energetic that looked. Here's the stand where you show you old lanterns, because that's so exciting here, staff only. Later. This is demonology. You know, every museum has one. Okay. I'll come back to demonology. Look at that shield that the Egyptians apparently had, and the Egyptian sundial. Wow, looks like it needs three keys. Requires a key. So I'm guessing we need to collect three keys, then come back here. We probably have the three keys in our demonology area. Our Atlantis area. Wow, this is just a big old museum full of logic, I see. There's a staff-only door and a staff-only staircase, and we can go to Egypt from there. Where did I come from? I think I came from this door. Yeah, this is the staff-only security area, which means I should probably go to the staff-only staircase. I first want to see the front desk. your breathing specialty. Sir, I'll open the door for you. How's Grandpa getting any goddamn customers? Also, either we get our battery back when we load new areas, or we recharge us over time. One or the other. November 2nd, uh, 1908. Dear Sir, I, Professor Rupert Walker, cordially invite you and your family to attend a private showing at my museum of the supernatural on the 24th November. The evening will begin at 8 p.m. with refreshments in the main hall. Should you choose to attend, your family will be amongst the first to experience the museum's many fascinating exhibits, though some are still undergoing work at, the t at this time. Please RSVP by no later than the 15th of November. Quaint. I hope you are able to accept my invitation. Look forward to seeing you soon. Yours faithfully, Professor Walker. Yours faithfully? What are you, my wife? Because... I, I don't know many people who write that. It's like, I mean, I guess you have faith that I'll be coming, but I don't know. It gives off some raw vibes there, Professor Walker. All right. Well, the chairs look like they're settled in nicely. I guess while there's, that's kind of obvious that the three keys I'm looking for are inside the Egyptian area, the Atlantis area, the demonology area. I'm going to first go up the staff only staircase because then I can say I'm important. Not to mention, if I was really here looking for my uncle, this would be the first place I looked. So, you know. What's up here? Uncle? Why does he never pay the electric bills? It's the real question of this establishment. Well, there's a note here. I guess we can read that. Longer than the previous ones. December 13th, 1908. Professor, dear Professor Walker, oh, this is Anne Marshall, I guess, responding. Following last week's health and safety inspection, I am right to inform you that the injurious health and safety oversights I have witnessed within your museum, all of these issues must be addressed before I can even consider giving you the green light to open to the public. Firstly, the elevators to the Atlantis exhibit and the planetarium must have railings at least three feet tall to prevent visitors from falling from the elevator while it's in motion. The same restrictions apply to the openings left when the elevator is not present. Secondly, while I appreciate your dedication to authenticity, I cannot allow open flames in a public area. As such, all torches, bonfires, and the like must be removed or replaced. I guess that's a demonology exhibit. Thirdly, I asked your engineer about the safety measures implemented into the various door opening mechanisms throughout the museum, and I was shocked to hear that there were uh, that there are none. These mechanisms absolutely have to be able to be, uh, have to be able to stop if blocked by a person or object. The same can be said for your elevators. These mechanisms absolutely have to be able to be stop 
to stop if blocked by one. Okay. Finally, all mazes should have clearly defined exits or staff on hand to guide people through should they get lost. I must have gone stuck in one of your mazes for the better part of ten minutes. Even more troubling, though, is that I have heard rumors one of your early guests' children became lost in the maze for hours and were actually locked in the museum overnight. I hope you can appreciate that there's just no way I can allow the museum to open in this state. Please contact me again once these issues are fixed, and we shall arrange a second inspection. I look forward to giving your museum a pass next time. Yours sincerely, Anne Marshall. Fuck the pollution. Okay, I guess the our uncle probably hasn't listened at all because he kind of locked himself away. Maybe it's out of depression that his museum is a health hazard. Oh, there's nothing in that room, so I guess that was all there was. Close the door. And let's go back downstairs. Now here comes the important question. Where do we start? I'm gonna ask you guys this one. Do we wanna start with demonology? Do we wanna start with Atlantis? Or do we wanna go to Egypt? Eh, cause it seems like all three are options. Not one of them, in the fact, they could all be locked. No, they're not, they're open. Okay, cause we tried demonology. Now Egypt is also open, so we have a choice. What do you guys say? Demonology, Atlantis, or good old Egypt. I'm really fine either way. I'm just kind of here. Open up the fucking... I'll have fun with chairs in the meantime. Actually, if you put a chair on top of another chair... Ugh. Oh. That chair just hopped up without even really doing anything. It's art. My uncle will appreciate the effort I'm putting to make his museum attraction attractive. Let's see if I can get this chair in the back. Ugh. I'm just gonna knock it down like this. Kind of. Physics. Give me a second. How many chairs are through? We make a chair pyramid. I bet if you really tried, you could climb on top of the pharaoh. I'm... You know, I'll put it into a pole form. Which means probably we're either gonna be going, I guess, to demonology. I mean, I'm not really surprised. Demonology sounds like the most horror-y one. Of, as a, on account, this is a horror game. I'm sure Atlantis and Egypt are as well. But sure, let's go through the dark corridors. Turn on the flashlight automatically. Let's climb upstairs and demon myself through me. I bet this is the one with the maze. This looks like a maze area, doesn't it? Surprise! Satanic rituals. Who would have guessed? Really. You got human skulls and torches and whatever else you really want. Yes, you too can perform your satanic rituals here. And of course, it's the demonology exhibit where they have to be concerned about fire. Let's see. We got symbols and the circles of demonic natures. A book I cannot read, but it's got blood on it. Skulls and... I feel like... In her health inspection, she overlooked all the human skulls placed around. I feel like that is kind of questionable. What do the giant human skulls belong to? I don't think people grow that big, so I'm a like mammoth for all I care. Actually, yeah. Just examining the area. Thankfully, the fire makes it kind of easier to transverse in some cases. Is this really the end of the road here? That was much shorter than anticipated, if this is so. Put it back, don't bother me. Oh. You want me to put this in the air? Oh, there was actually something in there. I was actually looking at it wondering. But there was actually a switch or something in here. Ta-da! Secret demon chambers. Let's investigate. Which leads into the giant demon whatever. Professor Walker's Diary. 27th of November, 1908. I received a letter this morning from Baron Montag that has left me quite baffled. No, not the, that the Baron actually enjoyed this uh, his time at the museum, though I must admit this also perplexes me. Rather, the Baron made mention of strange sounds that he and his wife had heard around the exhibits and even complimented me on their inclusion, but I had no knowledge of these sounds. It's unlikely that any of the workers would have included such a thing without my consent. I must investigate. 
is, is he really, it says Professor Walker, I'm guessing that's my uncle, is he really questioning why he's hearing demon sounds in such a intricate demon area, even though he has a demon maze down here where we're going to probably meet a demon that's going to chase us through said maze? Probably, I mean, just, he seems like he's a little bit baffled about something, which seems kind of obvious to me, participant here. This is totally going to be one of those stalker maze things. We all know it's coming. Even just auto saved my game, we just saw something walk in front of me. Well, it's fine. Let the demons go on. Don't shine your flashlight at enemies. Surprise. That is, in fact, a gameplay. The only thing is, you cannot see Jack and shit here, but at least we know there's enemies. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Took me a second to realize what that even was. No worries, I got stamina up the wazoo. Oh, there! I guess he was just on my tail the whole entire time. I don't even know what the monster looks like. He was just there. And I was like, okay, sir. Actually, where was I? Over here? No, that's the way, yeah. Up. Oh, be wary of the monsters there. Don't shine your flashlight at enemies. That's the moral of the story of the day, kids. Don't shine your flashlight, but it's kind of hard to see without it. I didn't even shine my flashlight there. What does he look like? <coughs> Sir, you, you got me in a corner. There's not much I got a choice here. That's fine. Let's be a little bit precautious. Doesn't really seem to matter if I shine my flashlight on him or not. I know where the monster is. He's over there. So go this way. Hope it'll run into any spooky spooks. It'd be a shame. Spooky spooks were to spook me. I'm going to still be a little bit precautious because I do want to make it to the maze, obviously. Of course, that determines me to know where I'm exactly going here, so. To which I answer no. I really have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> You can tell where the monster is by the breathing. Fortunately, this maze isn't really that big, it's just I don't exactly know what direction they want me to go in. Well, I'm being precautious. I feel like I've explored already most of the maze, it's just I need to take the right turn. I think the monster is actually guarding where I need to go. Kinda seems that way. Well, I guess I haven't been over here, actually. Is there a further? I've been here. I recognize this area. But then, how do we get out? That looks there. Monster's close. I haven't been over here yet, though. There we go. That's our exit. Peekaboo. Uh, there's. Then there's something up there. Why is the screen shaking? Well, that was the first half of the maze or something. Maybe I have to go back. Though if I have to go back, it's pretty easy as well. In fact, obviously I have to go back. Or what is this? An Introduction's Guide to Magic, page 2. Safety Measures. Always have the universal counterspell prepared should anything go wrong with the casting. The dark arts are very volatile. Every sigil used must be drawn precisely, and any outside interferences from other magical signs will cause a similar name to fail. Sometimes, with devastating consequences, only perform spells that are confident you can handle. Performing a ritual when you are unsure of the sta uh, steps involved is bound to lead to failure. Well, this isn't like it's super complex looking. It just looks like you make a symbol. You cannot turn off the outside one, so you just sort of mix and, mix and match everything. That matches, and those match. So there you go. So before I start doing whatever, I'll see there you go. One of them is glowing. 
That's a surefire way to get a spell correct. I'm going to put a box here, because I can jump on top of it and just crawl on through. But then the monster will have difficulty coming through. Okay. Outer ring. Not quite that. Let's see. I guess that works better than any of the other alternatives, but I'm not exactly sure if that's really right. This doesn't... I mean, I guess it's right. It's just what the little dot there is for. I'll put the other ones in the good old motion here. Oh, this one looks kind of cool. Got a little circle in the middle, so I'm guessing that I guess it just has to be turned the right angle. Right there looks good. And one more. Ta da! Next up is my green uh, sacrificial rooms. I actually feel like you're only supposed to cert set a uh, certain ones the right way, but I want to put them all the right way and then suffer the consequences of doing everything. There we go. Green was not on the chart either. I bet maybe there's a problem if you set them all correct. You turn this a few times, and there you go. It's our demon symbol. That makes all of them, except I'm also going to set all of them, as I've said. It's by the fact that I feel like this is probably the bad idea. There you go. Demon rituals prepared successfully. Time for me to learn I only need to set these three in motion and all the other ones into the right way actually is a bad idea. Sometimes doing oversteps can be a bad motion. Huh. Ritual's not working as intended. Which means I'm gonna do... Hmm... All the three symbols are lit up accordingly. You are definitely right, though you're not one of the ones. Maybe I should just mess up the ones that don't look right. You are definitely right, and you're one of the ones that actually are required. You're right, but you're not really required there. Um, so I'm just looking around there. You look fine. You're fine. Yeah, maybe I just mess up the ones that are not correct. Okay. If we want to get our alchemic circle of just gonna mess up the ones that don't look right or aren't included in the ritual, quote unquote. By being lazy and destroying the middle one. Technically, that makes it messed up, right? I think so. Now, will you work? Yep, right. It was that. It was exactly that. Only do the ones that are required. Which also means there's now a little nice crawl space revealed behind the altar. That wasn't really alchemy, that was just... Oh, we got the key! Oh boy, which doesn't mean we have to make our way back to the maze. Alright, well, demonology exhibit key picked up. I was actually half expecting something to be summoned in the middle circle when I turned backwards, but no, it's just back to the maze. The maze was quite small, to be frank, so it should be easy enough to sneak through. I bet, will they change it up? They might change it up. It'll be exactly the same. Maybe it'll be one of those last minute run for it moments. Also, can I even go up there? I just realized that this box there can be pushed here. Oh, yeah, we can go up here. Is this just the. Actually, this might be the easy way back, come to think of it. Yep, it's the easy way back, so you don't have to go through back to the maze. I actually really thought they were going to make you go through the maze, though. Okay, that's the same circle. I was trying to determine if those circles had different symbols on them or not. Yep, there's the exit. And yeah, that was a little bit easier than expected. Well, demonology's off the charts. I guess I'm going to go to Egypt next and then Atlantis. I say that because I'm hoping that the Atlantis exhibit's like really cool or something.
Wallace, Wallace, I don't mind Egyptian uh, stuff. It's never been a personal favorite of mine. It's kind of been neutral for me, so yeah. I'm not trying to say Atlantis was a real place, but... Hello, Egyptian exhibit. I hope there's a mummy in this one. Hello, Phoenix. Nothing we're supposed to pick up, though, in this block. It's obviously blocking away, so maybe we'll go through another time. In earnest, that is a very nice looking little room set up. Okay. I also like the hieroglyphs on the wall now that I'm actually paying attention. Uh, there's a scroll or something. Hold left to sprint. Sprinting makes more noise. Okay. I think, are we going to be running from a boulder in Nina Jones style? read this. Professor Walker's Diary, November 20th, 1908. It's finally in my hands. Bella wrote last week to inform me that she had acquired the crystal fragment I was after. Of course, knowing how much I wanted it, she saw fit to double her fee, start to not pay the amount and get my hands on the artifact. This shard is unlike anything I've ever seen. It looks to have been clearly cut from a much larger structure, but the material looks much too hard. Surely such a precise incision would be impossible. It's beautiful, truly magnificent. It's dull glow, soothing, hypnotic even. Now I can proudly put it on display in time for my pre-opening party next week. Yeah, great party set up. Sure, all those bitches be loving up your Egyptian gems. Let me just climb up here. No, I do not want the box to become unstable. I actually need to. No, sir. No, I need you. Just stay on top of there. There we go. There we go. Good. Stay there, box. And you jump on top. You need to get up here. Why do I need to go up here? I actually I need to go up here. Oh. It's a puzzle. See, actually, no, I do not. Come with me, box. Oh, there's actually also a secret passage over there. Well, two things discovered in one. The hieroglyph thing looks like such a puzzle over there. Eh, there we go. Up here, can we interact with this? Oh, A, B, C, D. I can remember any of this thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna take a Steam screenshot. Eh. And if I need that for whatever, then I'll have it on hand instead of having to run back and forth, whatever the fuck they want me to actually do. We have a whole alphabet. It's not gonna be something which I can easily remember. There is just a switch in here. Sure. Sounds like a clock. Oh. Because it was a clock. We got in. Downside. We're not going to be able to easily get out. Well, down to the crypt. We sure like the underground element of this museum, don't we? Or maybe, not me, my uncle seemed to really enjoy making secret tunnels here. Well, that's fine, I guess. Hello, great pharaoh. Yes, I see the door you want me to open over there. I'm going to first investigate you. Hey. Let me take a good read here. The tombs of many pharaohs are protected against grave robbers. This is a museum, not an actual tomb. Let's just be imported a tomb into our museum, which is kind of hard to do, but impressive. The resting place of King Teos was hidden beneath a secret door in his tomb, which is said to have been guarded by curses and other supernatural forces. The name of the pharaoh himself was used to seal the tomb. Okay. Are we going to go through just another maze? It sounds like it. Alright, sure, I'll 
Okay, so I got a little bit confused with the perception there. Curses now. Ooh. This involves the alphabet. <laughs> Thankfully, I took a screenshot. Uh, yeah. If I didn't have that available, how would I be able. So, wait, wait, wait. Th this would be unfair, though, because I can't go back and view the alphabet anymore because the thing is locked. And the king is resting in pieces. I guess that's the big green gem that looks the same as the other green gems. In fact, the green gems is lanterns right there. Touching his tomb isn't disrupting his spirit or anything, so I think we're fine. Well, I'm sure there's a puzzle here, so. Thanks for watching the video. I'd very much appreciate if you take a moment to consider donating to my Patreon, where I'm trying to turn this into a livelihood for missed game videos, different higher quality video series for the channel, and my own little games to make from time to time. You can learn more about all of this at the link, which you'll also find in the description below. If you'd like to watch me record my game videos, take part in development streams, or just interact some, I stream quite regularly at my hitbox.tv channel and it's where I record all my gameplay for my Let's Plays. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and until next time, adieu.